как я понимаю, буквально сегодня был отдан приказ бомбить Бейрут. Мы последовательно и неизменно исходим из необходимости полного и комплексного выполнения резолюции Совета Безопасности 1701, в которой прописаны как обязательства Израиля по прекращению всех наступательных военных операций, выводу своих вооруженных сил из Южного Ливана и прекращению оккупации ливанских земель, так и обязательства Хизбаллы по отводу всех формирований к северу от реки Летания. The unprecedented brutality and devastation of the consequences in Gaza has triggered a sharp escalation in the Lebanon-Israeli confrontation and the images of the ongoing strikes along the blue line and within Lebanon and Israel have circulated around the world. The Middle East is at the precipice of a, a full-blown war, which, as it seems, some keenly wish to see transpire. Uh, on the 23rd of September alone, as a result of large-scale Israeli bombardment of Lebanon, at least 558 people died. This includes 50 children, 94 women. More than 1,600 1, people ha were wounded. According to the UNICEF mission in Lebanon, uh, in, uh, the UNICEF representative in Lebanon, in one day in Lebanon, more people were killed than in the past 11 months. The dead include two staff members of the Office of the High Commissioner for Refugees. Tens of thousands of people have been forced to flee their homes. We strongly condemn the actions of the Israeli side, which blatantly violates the sovereignty of the friendly country of Lebanon. The indiscriminate attacks to whose casualties are civilians are categorically unacceptable. The path of war that was embraced by West Jerusalem will not allow it to return the displaced persons to the north of the country, nor will it ensure security in the Lebanon-Israeli border area. And this is attested to by the experience of the 2006 Israeli campaign when even the vast arsenal of the most cutting-edge military equipment and weaponry did not result in Israel achieving the goals it set out. There's a need to immediately end the spiraling violence before the situation completely spirals under, out of control, which, as we see, some very much wish to see transpire to provoke a full-blown war. We call for an immediate cessation of hostilities, which will result in an end to further bloodshed and will create conditions for a diplomatic and political resolution. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.